What's up, y'all? Hope y'all doing well. We are back on NASCAR 2005, and as you can see, our villain meter is about to be completely full. <laughs> so I actually started the new career mode, and I did lower difficulty, as well as put some driver assist on, because if you saw my last video, man, the game was impossible. It literally was impossible to even move up, move up a position. So now... I'm way more competitive, and the nice thing is, it's not easy as well, compared to, let's say, like, a rookie difficulty, because I'm not gonna lie, when I was younger, I used to just play on a rookie difficulty, and not really try out any of the other ones, but that was at a time when I just wanted to get first and everything. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh man, that was not a good start. <laughs> so we're call it qualifying. Starting our first lap. Man, this car is tight. So I am in the Bush series, which is the second tier of NASCAR. So you go up from the fighter light to the trucks, to national, which is this, to a cup. And I actually re did receive... Uh, Hey, I'm, I can't believe I got 16th with that terrible run. But I actually did receive a offer from a Cup Series ride, which is cool. So now I'm eligible to be part of the top division. But I'm going to keep that till the season's over because juggling three series so far is a bit of a challenge. And I do want to make some more money so I can get a Truck Series team, although... That literally doesn't make sense. You might be thinking, why don't I just buy? I mean, why don't I just sign with a cup team, earn more money? Honestly, I just want the season to end <laughs> and see if I can get any more contract offers. All right, so we can either do this race or qualify. Obviously, we gotta do a race, um, which means I'm gonna be last place in the truck series. I don't want to sign your autographs. I am a villain. <laughs> So, because of the fact that I didn't qualify, the next truck series race I'm doing, I'm basically starting last. And, yeah, once I sign with a cup team, there's going to be a lot of scheduling conflicts. For example, you might have two races on one day, and you're going to have to pick one. And if you don't have a team, you're, and you're a contract driver like what I am right now, you're kind of... You, you really have to, like, be decisive. And I think that's pretty cool, like strategizing yourself to make yourself the best in all the series. It's a little different story with, uh, oh my god, I'm loose, nice. Didn't do anything, but... Which is kind of the cool thing about being an owner. For example, I'm in the Fighter Light series, but as an owner, meaning that I'm not doing any of those races. I just hired a dude to do my races for me, and I basically am earning a bunch of side income. Intimidated that dude pretty well. Now we're moving up to 12th. Man, the car is getting... How is the car getting loose? Like, man. Probably because my brakes are locking up. Only thing is, I don't know how to brake effectively, to be honest. Especially on keyboard. It's like, you know... If I had, like, a regular game, game cube controller... Maybe things could be different, but on keyboard, yeah, I'm, like, stuck with the way the handling model is, pretty much, because you kind of just go full-on left, full-on right, and it really shows, especially when the tires start wearing out, it's really difficult. Should I try sharing... I can't even share drafts. It's really hard to share drafts because of the fact that my villain bar is like so high. But definitely if you have a slower car, like for example right now, I have a two-star quality ride. And you pretty much got to be using share draft on the straightways and intimidate on the corners to really get a maximum... 
power output because good luck trying to do that on an own on your own with this car because this thing has no power whatsoever all right tires are worn I'll probably pit at like lap 11 probably lap 11 it's gonna bump you out of the way just give me some space maybe use me for drafting because I kind of need to get to the pack and this car has no power to do that on its own. But, of course, he's not trying to cooperate. The man's just trying to overtake me. So I'm going to slow him down. Pretty much. And that kind of affected... Oh, man, the, the brake's locked up. That's not good. Okay, now we're back at P12. That's a little annoying. Let me intimidate him from afar. I don't think it's going to be that effective. But I'll still get a draft on him, which is nice. Yeah, I'm just getting a draft out of that dude for pretty much. Oh, I was about to scrape that wall hard. Um, I don't know when I should pit on it. I said I was going to do P, P, not P, lap 11. But, actually, I gotta do it at lap 11. I'm at low fuel. And get out of my way, bro. Still in the top 10. Still in the top 10. Oh, we got him loose a little bit. Good. Oh, man. I want to see if I could... I don't know, should I pit now? Wait, should pit now. I hopefully no one messes me up. Should I? I should probably make the car a little looser. I think that's about fine. And really, that man really had to stop me right there. That's tough. Alright, pit crew, please don't mess up. I am doing all four tires because if I just do two, it. This car is going to be uncontrollable. Go on. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Nice. 15 seconds. We are back at P12. That's really funny. Who's this? Get out of my way, bro. Even after getting those tires replaced, this car is a lot more slidey now. And the annoying thing is that the AI does not have tire wear, which is kind of weird because in previous NASCAR games like Thunder 2003 and 2004, I know, the AI does have tire wear. So, like, they can make the same mistakes as you, and, like, for example, like, if some AI drivers had, like, no no tires, basically, I would just be flying by them. But this game does not have that. I don't know why. Probably for difficulty reasons, but... Sometimes it's just really unfair. I mean, it is unfair. Because you got pretty much a, a pretty decent car. And you just can't do much because the tires limit your top speed. It's really just trying to keep it consistent out here. Don't want to mess up too hard. It is getting harder to controlling this car. Come on, come on. Alright, don't focus on the opponents. Focus on your line. Do 
do not do that to me, car. Thank you. Yeah, this car is becoming very unwieldy. Like, are you kidding me, man? Like, what? I can't really do much. Like, this car is just wants to just slide all over the place. It sucks. Man, we had a good line going in, but the car is getting super loose. Oh man, tire is worn out. That's what I'm saying, like, even after you get fresh new tires, the tires just wear out way faster. Just gotta keep my... Keep my 12th position, because... That man behind me is about to... He's gunning for it. He is gunning for it. Man, P12. Not too bad. Honestly, that car, this car was about to just slide all over any, any, at any moment. Man, that dude started at 36, finished 9th. It's crazy. Yeah, I started 14th and did a 12. Not too bad. Let's see uh, how my man reacts. Yeah, he's a little mad. Oh man, okay. Hey, calm down, bro. Like, you know, you didn't finish last or anything. And it seems like no one was pretty mad, mad at us, so. It is what it is. I just want to see my position on the uh, standings, see how that's been affected. Let's see the info. Go to standings. Wow, I'm I'm in second and not too far behind. So we seem to have a three-way battle going on so far. It's pretty cool. And the funny thing is, I finished last one race, so it's actually kind of crazy how I'm doing this well. You have Craftsman, I'm first in this one, and Fetterlight. So, yeah, I hired a driver, he sucked, and I did one race with me, I got a win, and I hired a new guy. Hopefully he doesn't finish last, that's really all I'm asking. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching.